Well, the inevitable has finally happened. After falling flat on their face during holiday season last year, and then proceeding to try and put a band-aid over the massive shrapnel wound of their debt load, Bed Bath & Beyond only managed to limp forward two more months before having to file Chapter 11 bankruptcy. As of the situation right now, there is a rapid fire of docket items hitting the feed right now. And last I checked, we're up to 40. And all this is in preparation for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the first day hearing and it's at two o'clock and it will be in the United States Bankruptcy Court for the District of New Jersey, Judge Vincent Papalia presiding. Now for most of these hearings, it's not gonna be open to the public but as soon as they get it up on Pacer, you'll be able to get the audio transcript, which I will also be grabbing to post to this YouTube channel. More importantly, this hearing will give us a very good idea of what Bed Bath & Beyond's plans are and in what direction they plan to go. Now, obviously, it seems very likely, seems is a hedging word because I would say it's almost certain that equity is getting completely washed out on this one. It isn't going to be an NCMI. It isn't going to be a Hertz. The debt in this company is too large and the way that things were talked about in the support for debtors motions seems to imply that things are going to be thoroughly cleansed in order to wipe out the debts that they hold. However, this hearing will lay out what the plans are, what the company looks like, what they would like to have happened coming out of bankruptcy, the debtors' opinions on this, and all the other interested parties which will be participating. Because of this situation though, much like the video that I posted earlier today about Cineworld, there is no likelihood of a shareholder committee or any sort of organized body in the bankruptcy court for shareholders under both U.S. law and I believe the laws of, of most countries, creditors have to be paid before equity owners can be paid. And so unless there is enough value in Cineworld to pay creditors in full, it's almost impossible to imagine why shareholders should get paid because you bought the high-risk security as you identify in your letter. There's just simply going to be no equity left in this company after they deal with the debt and other people that are ahead of the equity stakeholders in line. And I've also seen going around the internet a lot of people intimating that they plan on filing lawsuits against Bed Bath & Beyond over this bankruptcy hearing and I find that absurd this company has been failing for years even before 2019 it has been very upfront over the past at least half a year if not a year that the company is in serious trouble and even more recently that bankruptcy is highly likely and yet you decided to stay invested in this company that's your own damn fault Another thing that this bankruptcy proceeding reminded me of, as it was in the bankruptcy filings that Bed Bath & Beyond submitted to the court, was of the Ryan Cohen lawsuit, where shareholders were suing the company and Ryan Cohen over his potential insider trading and all the things that took place way back when Ryan Cohen exited Bed Bath & Beyond. I had been meaning to look into that lawsuit previously all way back in the way back. After all, I had said as much that Ryan Cohen's actions were pretty skeezy looking, but I never had the means to really fully look into it. But now that I have a Pacer account, I can fully look into the lawsuit. And uh, once I get all of those filings together, I'll be looking into that more closely. Lastly. I'm probably going to do an overview video of the entire bankruptcy situation, but that probably will not happen until I have in my possession the hearing transcript from tomorrow on Monday to go along with the declaration of the chief restructuring officer to kind of be able to break down point by point what is going on here. Not only that, but also 
what all of the creditors and the other parties to this bankruptcy feel about the situation. It'll give us more clarity as to what's going on and where things are heading from here, even if where things are going is a bit obvious. But that's it for now. Just wanted to get this video out as to what I'm going to be looking at for Monday with Bed Bath & Beyond, especially when we've got AMC stuff going on on Tuesday, the probably snooze fest of them just doing scheduling things. But that's all for now, and I'll catch you folks next time.